today we're going to start our binder cover directions. First thing you want to do is log on to Citrix. So you're going to come over here to the internet. You're going to go to the Campbell Union High School District homepage. All right, I have a shortcut to get there, so I have to use a different system to get there since I'm not at school currently making this video. So I need to log on to my favorites here and come down here. And I'm going to come right over here to Citrix application. All right. Log on here. And this is what you will see when you go to log in. Go ahead and log in. And I'm going to click on Photoshop. Okay, so it's launching Photoshop. Okay, so for here, from here you're going to have to create a new file. And you need to do that by clicking on File, New. Okay, so right here it's asking you to put a name in. And you're going to call it BC underscore your first initials and your last name. Uh, next thing you're going to do is you're going to set the height. You want to make sure you've got inches selected. Okay, the width is going to be 8.5 and the height is going to be 11 with a resolution of 150. Make sure you have RGB color selected and background. You're going to come over here and you're going to click OK. It's going to pull up a brand new document just on a white paper. We're going to pour in some paint. You're going to come over here and you're going to set your foreground color. Alright, so let's just go with kind of a pink lavender color. And then you're going to pour in your paint bucket. So you need to come over here to this tool. This tool right here shares the gradient tool and the paint bucket tool. You want to click on the paint bucket tool. Make sure you have that paint bucket tool showing. You're going to pour it in. If you don't like this color, you can come over here to edit. And you can undo the paint bucket. I'll show you another way to do it as well, okay? So let's say we don't like that color. Let's say we want it lighter. We pour it in again. So we can also undo what we did by pulling up the history dialog box. This is it right here. We expand that out. We've got new. We've got paint bucket. We can basically back up. Okay. And again, another way is to go to edit and undo. Alright, so let's come back over here and let's just try another color. Okay, and we'll go ahead and pour that in. Alright, so now the next step is to find our image that we're going to put in here. It's our portrait image. So we're going to go to File and we're going to go to Open. We're going to go to My Computer I'm actually, so we're going to actually go OK. 
Okay. I'm gonna go to desktop. The same as Selena's. Desktop. Alright, so because I'm doing this currently from my home location, it's not letting me get into the P drive, which is where I'm going to find binder cover images. So, um, let's see where I can find a picture of a student from last year that I can use as an example. So, we'll click on this folder here, and we'll go to Digiphoto 1, and we'll go to Studio Portraits student portraits and we'll just pick somebody let's see here um, we'll just put this one in right now okay we'll open up that one okay so from here you can come up here and go to image if let's say you don't let's say it's too light and you want to make it darker or too dark and you want to make it lighter. You can go to image adjustments and to curves and if we move this out of the way we can see that we can lighten that or we can darken it. But actually I think it looks perfect just the way it is and so we're going to say cancel. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we want to resize this. We're going to go over here to image, image size. We're going to change the resolution to 150 and the width to 4. And you will notice, you want to make sure you click on resample, okay? You will notice that these pixels dimensions have changed as long as as well as the height this changes to 5. So we're going to say OK and now the picture is going to shrink down so it's much smaller and it's OK. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to go to select all. We're going to come back here and we're going to go edit copy and we're going to come over here to the window and we're going to select our newly created document, which is right down here, BC underscore C Salinas. And we're going to go edit, paste. All right, it's really important that we make sure that we click on our move tool and we also make sure that the show transform controls is selected so that we can move this around. Now that we have that red background, I'm thinking that we might want to change our background color. Um, that red background doesn't really work very well. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to Windows, Layers, okay? And I'm going to click on our pink, which is our layer, our, our pink layer, and I'm going to click on this and I'm actually going to select some of the red in here using this little eyedropper tool and I'm make it a little bit lighter say OK now I'm going to pour that in there we go that looks much better now I'm going to go to the layers dialog box which is right down here here's our layers dialog box and um, I'm going to click on our little FX symbol the bottom left and I'm going to add a drop shadow to this okay it pulls up a dialog box and I'm going to add a drop shadow and I'm going to make sure I double click on drop shadow so that this right here reads drop shadow and I'm going to play around with these different options here so I can change the angle of the shadow I can change the distance of the shadow, the spread, the size that looks pretty good I can also add any of these other tools if I wanted to so for example a stroke click on that and I can say I want the stroke to be on the outside edge and right now it's black. I could 
you know, change the size of that stroke. I could change the color by clicking here and let's say pulling in some of this red or maybe a gray color. Looks pretty good. And then we say OK. Now we're going to click on the T on the toolbar over here and that's our lettering and right up here has all of our controls for our lettering, our, our size, our font size. I'm going to make it pretty big, like 24. And I'm going to go for a really interesting looking font. And again, we're going to go to 24 on that. And I'm going to change the color. I don't want it to be the same color as the foreground. I want it to be a real dark red. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in my first name. And I'm going to put in, I want this to be centered, so I'm going to click on this right here so that when I go back here, I'm going to put this centered so that when I can click on this to move this out of the way, move this back to the center here. And then when I click on this, I can then put period one and then digital photography. And if I don't like the size of that, I can change the size of that and make it like a bigger font. I'm going to move this over right now. And, um, so I've got that, and now the next thing is to then add a layer style to the text. So we're going to come back down here, and we're going to add a layer style, maybe an outer glow. That might be nice. We can change the color of the outer glow, maybe to like a light pink or a red. Uh, we can change the spread, the size, and we might want to make it normal. Or actually, I like screen. Screen shows up better. And then uh, I might come over here to bevel and emboss and add a little bevel and emboss to the lettering. It'll kind of give it a little more three dimensional look. And then I say OK. Um, and then the next step is to save this. So we're going to come over here to File, Save As. We want to make sure that we save it as a PSD file. And you're going to save it in a folder called Binder Cover. You need to go to the P drive. I don't have that right now, so I'm just going to come over here to Digital Photo. Uh, this is the year that this is right now. And I'm just going to save it in our Digital Photo file. But you would want to save it in the P drive. And you want to save it under a folder called binder cover and you just go ahead and save it and then you say OK and it saves there and you are good to go.